The long-awaited Ontario Provincial Police report into the events of October 22nd will reveal that Michael Z. Hafbiba was shot 31 times by security forces, the last shot to the back of his head considered fatal. The report also concludes that Corporal Nathan Cirillo was fatally shot three times in the back by Zf Bebo while he was guarding the war memorial. Previously, it had been reported that Cirillo was shot twice. The report also gives new details about what happened when Bebo headed to Parliament Hill. Bebo pointed his rifle at the chest of a guard but didn't fire. When he was running down the Hall of Honour, he was confronted by three parliamentary security guards. One of them, Corporal Maxine Mallow, fired several shots but missed. Ziaf Bibo fired back. Another guard, Constable Louis Letourneau, fired 15 shots, one hitting Ziaf Bibo but not bringing him down. Ziaf Bibo eventually hid himself near the parliamentary library where the sergeant at arms, Kevin Vickers, was nearby. Four RCMP officers then organized themselves in a diamond-shaped formation called the Immediate Action Rapid Deployment, or the IARD. Constable Curtis Barrett led the formation. To his left was Sergeant Richard Rosin. Constable Martin Fraser took the right position, and Corporal Danny Daigle covered the rear. Though the names of all the officers are redacted in the report, RCMP sources have told CBC News that there is no security risk in finally revealing their identities for the first time. They advanced down the hall. Zihaf Bibo turned and fired at Barrett, and at that moment, Vickers dove and started shooting at Zihaf Bibo as well, 15 rounds in all. Barrett then began firing, and Zihaf Bibo went down. The report says Barrett shot Zihaf Bibo in the back of the head. It calls it a fatal shot. The report also says that re shot and all the shots were, quote, justifiable causes of action because there was a sense that Zihaf Bibo was still considered dangerous. I should also say that even after all those 31 shots, they still put handcuffs on Zihaf Bibo, though he was already dead. The full report comes out on Wednesday. Evan Solomon, CBC News, Ottawa.